This is Joe Malone. We're talking Mason City Toros hockey with the head coach of the Mason City Toros, Nick Brunito. Nick, round two of the playoffs. This is exciting stuff. Yeah, yeah. We're we're excited for the next round. Uh, the guys have been playing great, so excited to see what uh, what's in store on Friday. Uh, the uh, Toros getting ready to uh, take on longtime rivals in the NA3HL, the uh, Granite City Lumberjacks. But first, you had to go through Wilmer. And uh, Wilmer has been a, a tough team. We talked prior to the series about how they were uh, maybe the hottest team in the NA3. And uh, Thursday night was maybe one of the funnest hockey games I've seen in a while as the Toros had a come-from-behind victory to beat Wilmer. Uh, there was there was a little bit of everything. You had the, the come from behind. You had uh, uh, very physical activity in that game. Uh, your thoughts on the way you started that series? Well, you know, I actually thought if you look at that game, we came out of that first period down three to one, and I thought we played good hockey. So, um, you know, the second period was a was a turning point where we went up four to three, um, and then just kept that lead throughout the game. But you're right, it, that game did have everything and. Um, there was fights. It was very physical, um, and and for us, we got a good effort from everybody, which isn't always the case. You know, uh, there's there's nights where a couple guys have off games or off days, and I thought everybody played well. We got contributions from all four lines, which you know you don't see that always in the regular regular season, let alone a playoff game. So um, could couldn't have been more uh, proud and 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 happy with how our guys played uh, that first game, and uh, as as you can see, it led into game two. Yeah. Now, one of the parts on Thursday uh, was the banner raising for what the uh, NA3 North Iowa Bulls accomplished last season. Um, five members of that team there, including uh, Jack Campion, who's up playing with the Bulls in the NAHL now, to uh, to lower those banners for uh, winning the cup last year. What was that like for you on uh, as a coach on the bench watching that um, spectacle take place? Well, I think it's all, first of all, it's awesome for those guys, um, for Sloth, Soda, Shoda, um, Noops and Camps as well, um, to have that. And, and Todd, Todd being here, um, with Mark Hicks as well. I think, uh, I think that's always special for those guys to see what they accomplished. And it's, it's, it's obviously a really big deal. Um, and then for us, obviously, you know, selfishly enough, it's, it's, uh, it's like a motivation. You, you see that banner getting, you know, raised and it's it's what we're all working for it's what we all want this season so um i I, i'm i thought it was glad i'm glad they did it i wasn't sure when what game or how they were going to do it but i'm glad it worked out especially for our returning players uh now uh friday uh night it was at wilmer and it was a uh no need to come from behind it was a dominating victory for the mason city toros uh the one highlight that has been shared a lot on social media from that game uh, Brennan Sloth, little toe drag action, uh, goal of the year maybe. I mean, it was impressive. It was a really nice goal. And the crazy thing is, is we had a couple other highlight real goals that game. Hogan had one first goal of the game where bounced, uh, you know, missed the net, bounced in the air, and he batted it midair off the goalie and in. And Humphreys had a beautiful one in the second as well. So there was a lot of really, really nice goals that game. Now, next up is Granite City. You're going to be on the road at Granite City on Friday night, Saturday afternoon, final home game this season for the Mason City Toros, uh, taking on Granite City. And then, if need be, uh, Sunday after uh, Sunday, back up in Granite City. Now, I remember the first conversation we had uh, when you were being introduced as the, the head coach of the uh, Mason City Toros. You said uh, people were like, Beat Granite was the like the first interaction you had with hockey fans around here, and now here we are where it's beat Granite. Um, what what is the talk? What are the thoughts? What's the preparation like going into this series? Oh uh, well, we're doing some film work. You know, the next few days on special teams. Um, you know, just minor details, little things we can we can pick up on that'll just improve improve our game within those sixty minutes. Um, but the big focus for us is, is defensive hockey. We know um, that playoffs is a different beast, and, and, and when we're playing good defensive hockey, we can beat anybody. Um, and just to stay patient, that you know, you, you're not always going to get chances, but if you play good defensive hockey, you're in every game, and usually that's where you get those opportunities is because you're playing good defense and teams are not patient. So um, that's kind of been the mindset. Um, we're, we're worried about, obviously, you know, our own game during the week. Um, 
and, and the film preparation will be critical as well. Yeah, I'm going over the numbers, uh, the the Toros did have uh, a couple of wins against Granite City, and those were low scoring games that that ended up with the W for the Toros. So I guess that defensive mindset makes sense. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they're they're a team that hasn't uh, hasn't given away many points at all. I think they've given away seven points in the season, and five of them have been to us. So um, obviously, we, we've played them tight, and we know it, we know it'll be a good series. But uh, they're, they're consistently. Um, you know, they've been consistent the whole season in, in what they've done. Uh, uh, the best taking on the best for a chance to uh, represent the West. It, uh, again, is happening Granite City on Friday night and then uh, here in Mason City on Saturday afternoon. And uh, uh, it's going to be great. It'll be part of a, a doubleheader hockey between the uh, Toros at 2.30 and then the Bulls at 7.30 on Saturday. Uh, head coach Nick Brunito, thank you for your time, and we'll see you at the rink on Saturday. Thanks, Joe.